Hey guys, Jay here, and I'm not playing a Spectre build. I am remaking my uh, video on the topic of uh, you know maximizing the damage for Detonate Death. In the previous video, uh, what I have said in the video was you want to summon a meat sack as your Spectre, and you want to summon as many of it as possible. Apparently, from some information that I've known from the comment section, and also I kind of confirm it through different sources from uh, Reddit, from other people that I know, and ask them about uh, this topic, and I come to a conclusion, and I can pretty much confirm that this is the final version, this is the correct one, and I want to show you today in a different video, the original video where I created was already unlisted, because it is not entirely correct, and I want to, you know, just uh, give the information in the most optimized way as possible so that you can actually gain the most amount uh, of damage for your detonate debt if you play the build. And, well, uh, here we are. We have the setup. I will go through it a little bit. Uh, currently, I'm having Midnight Bargain 1, 2. So we have plus 2 maximum Spectre there. We have a Ray Spectre level 20 gem socketed into a... Uh, Void Eye and Set Ring, which is like a 1 KS item. So it is level 25. At level 25, Ray Spectre, you can summon maximum to 3 Spectre instead of 2 from Gem. So with this 1, 2, 3 item and a Gem, we have 5 Spectre. And then we have plus 1 Spectre from the Death Attunement. Right? So that is uh, not the most amount of Spectre you can get. But that is the, you know, cheap, comfortable thing that I would recommend everyone at least to be doing if they are playing the any build that is Detonate Dead. And I'll explain why. Because the other way to have five additional Spectres involving, first of all, a Nine Divine Helmet that is the Wraith Lord, currently is Nine Divine in uh, Necropolis trade. It might drop in price, it might go up in price, who knows, but it is 9 Divine, and not everyone can afford it. I mean, if I want to, I can buy it and then resell it, but I don't really want to go that far anyway, so yeah, I just want to mention it. You just need that Wraith Lord helmet, and you suck it in 4 Ghastly Eye Jewel, that will allow you to have 4 additional um, Spectre. And then you can summon additional monsters, right? Uh, and then there is another way to add one extra Spectre, which is through a mod on the... Let me actually show you here. This is on the Delve mod. What you search for is maximum number of Spectres. And remember to put item rarity as rare, because if you don't put rare, let me show you real quick, it will show a bunch of... Why is this lagging? But... What? The PvE's trade side is lagging? Really? Oh my gosh. Uh, can I go to other places? Yes! So the trade side is lagging. Okay. Finally, finally, it's back. Okay. Maximum number of Spectre, so just search Spectre. Maximum number of Spectre is here. If you don't uh, search for item rarity, it will show a bunch of Queen's Decree. We already have Midnight Bargain as our uh, weapons. So either put item rarity as rare here, or put this one as body armor, but I think Item rarity as rare, it's just easier to uh, find and click, and you click search, it is lagging again. And then basically you will find a bunch of chests that is delve based, that allows you to have plus one to maximum number of spectre. And that is the, the last spectre you can have. Uh, let me see if, you, if it actually show. It still is lagging. Well, you get the idea on how to do it, right? It will show a bunch of body armor. Yeah, here we go. So you can have plus one here. So the maximum number of Spectre you can have is 11 currently, right? 
maybe if you find a way to raise the level of the race specter gem to oblivion it, you could have one extra i'm not sure that is level 30 32 something you know you can go to wiki and check it out but realistically 11 is the maximum number of specter you can have right and why is that uh important let me show you again right so here is a thread from reddit that is created eight days ago by nightcracker i will leave the link to this thread in the description if you want to read this and uh, go through everything very detailed in terms of uh explanation on how uh, to get it but I just want to quickly show you a little bit of example in the video if you want to go through the video form. So basically, these are the five uh, easiest to get one. Kitahava's Herald, Sandworm Slave, Rattling Condemned, Cave Stalker, and Gorko Alpha. You go to the zone that he's saying here, and you just desecrate there, and then you will eventually find the, the, the specters. I am having currently... Uh, Sixth of it, one is the meat sack. The meat sack is something that it's, you know, currently only available in Necropolis because of this item over here. I want to show you. So when you click on the lantern in front of a zone, you have a bunch of all flame. And if you have something called the all flame ember of meat sack, that allow you to basically, if you want to use it here, it will replace one of these monsters as a pack of meat sack and you not a pack meat sack but the pack also is just one monster you want to kill the meat sack there make sure you don't detonate that the corpse so you can actually raise the corpse as a meat sack and the meat sack is this guy over here right uh, this guy yep looks like a abomination with a skull on the head there that is the meat sack and that is exactly what you want. He is the one with the most amount of health currently available in the game. And so let's just uh, try to go to the mine encampment here where you can find actually two out of the courses uh, that you would want to find on the list. Uh, yeah, this is the link. So, if you want the full list, it is here. It's Katava's Hero from Act 5, Cathedral Rooftop, Cathedral Rooftop, Sandworn Slave from Act 9, Vastiri Desert, Rattling Condemned, Act 6, The Prison, Cave Stalker, and Gorgo Alpha, you can have from Delve in the Mine Encampment. So, as an example here, I will go to the Mine Encampment here, and all I need to do is just, you don't need to go to Delve, you can be just be here and just you know basically desecrate a few times right until you find the cave stalker and the okay right now we don't have the gorgos alpha we need to find the gorgos alpha basically you got the idea right we just uh desecrate a few times and uh once you've done collecting all these specter one of each then you can now safely do remove it right just remove it so now as you uh, as you see i don't have those specters anymore i don't have a respector gem on me right i respect out of this i change everything back to the normal setup that i am playing with right so here Right, so right now I have no Spectre, but if I desecrate, and I will go to my hideout, if I desecrate, you will see all the Spectres show up in the desecrate pool. As you can see here, we have Meat Sacked. Here I can literally see the Kitava's Herald. Yes. Right, we do it again. Rattling Condemned. Yes, that is the one from Act 6. Kitava's Hero Rattling Condemned. Yes. Cave Stalker there. Cave Stalker. Logos Alpha, we just see. 
we'll go as right out go those alpha here somewhere slave yeah so we have seen everything so basically now you add all those six monsters into the pool of desecrate and because they are very high life monster that means if you detonate that detonate those corpses it would deal more damage and the amount of more damage there is uh, I believe the life of most of these uh, of those courses are last 360 percent of the normal monsters life which is like a skeleton right and in the case of the meat sack it is actually 400 percent which is 10 percent higher than the other ones so uh, yeah, if you want to absolutely min max, you can go for Wraith Lord and the Delph Chest, so you can add five more monsters, and they are the harder to get monster on the list here. It is harder to get, but it's not that hard, right? For example, the Auric Champion and Auric Colossus, Giant Gladiator Statue, you can go to Solaris level 2, find it, kill it, raise it as a Spectre, you have number uh, 7 here, 8... 9, 10, and 11. Uh, as you can see here, his listing is this as 10, but because we have the meat sack as the actual number 1, so the total amount of monster we have here is 11. And you also have other things that you can find in Heist here, but I think that is much harder to get, so this kind of thing is much easier. Go to Delve, any normal encounter, you can find it. As a right widow, you can go to delve any normal encounter that you can find it because in the delve, once you start the first one, you can go to ease level 35 or above here very easily. Uh, very easily because normally you can start at level 60 or something with a character that you have finished the campaign, right? So, yeah, that is the way we can actually maximize the amount of uh, damage uh, for Destiny Dead. Uh, the math behind this is here he's also explained here you have 15 percent uh, to spawn uh, one of the specters so that happens all the time 15 percent of the time so every 10 corpses you have uh, every 20 corpses you guarantee to have three corpses uh, basically and 85 percent of the time it will spawn a corpse from the map pool however this corpses from the map pool actually got added with all the six uh, monster that we have as the specters before and then that means you add those monsters into the pool of whatever zone you are running and you have a chance to summon more of it right so basically that is how it works and please let me know if i've missed something here and check out this thread if you want to see the written guy you know maybe save this link so you can use it later I think it is helpful if you plan to play Detonate Death sometimes in the future as well. And so, yeah, leave a like to the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for a thousand subscriber. I will be streaming like right now on Twitch. I will leave the Twitch link in the description as well. And see you in the next video or see you on stream. Peace.